Get your potions and revives ready, because in today's video, we're going up against Dragonite. An Elite Four Lance's Dragonite used to cook me all the time. I don't know if Dragonite's Pokedex entry my heart, but I do know that the My Pokemon Cookbook says that a kind-hearted Dragonite simply must help people in need. After a bite of this nochi, you'll find yourself equally determined to help yourself to another serving of this delectable dish. Well, the uh, cook time is going to be about two hours on this one, so a uh, little bit harder than our last recipe, uh, but fortunately for you, you won't have to wait two hours. So let's get started. Preheat your oven to 375. So for the Dragonite Butternut Squash Dochi, you're gonna need all this stuff that we have out here. Some pre-made nochi, coconut milk, dried sage, fresh sage, garlic, a whole onion, four things of garlic to be exact. Some shiro miso, about a tablespoon, half of a butternut squash, and some olive oil. Regular seasonings, all that other stuff. It'll be down below if you need an exact one for one list. Don't try this at home. I missed. Oh my God. So I've never actually cut a butternut squash before. I'm literally not a cook. This is the first time I'm doing this. I've never seeded one either. So you're in for a treat here because I still have no idea what I'm doing. Too powerful for you. So once the oven's preheated to 375, we're going to go ahead and uh, seed this, or de-seed, like in a video game, de-seed, you know? Like when the team has to take a pause because your internet connection is trash. We're gonna de-seed this squash into my magical hidden trash can here that you'll never see. It's like a pumpkin. I didn't know, are they like relatives? Oh my God, it's hanging on for dear life. Once we've de-seeded your half of a butternut squash, we're going to put it on a large baking sheet, a large baking sheet face up. You're gonna wanna grease the pan, grease the squash, and then generously salt it. All right, now we're going to generously grease our squash here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Generously put it in the oven for an hour to an hour and a half. So while our squash is cooking, we're gonna prep the garlic and onion for the blender, and we're going to roughly chop the sage for browning later on in the pan. All right, so we're going to get a tablespoon of olive oil in a large nonstick pan over medium high heat and warm it up. If you wanna help your blender out a little bit, you can heat up your onions and your garlic, soften them up a bit before you throw them in. Once that's all nice and warmed up, we'll go ahead and toss in our onions first for about five minutes. Then we'll toss in the garlic for two minutes and then we will add it to the blender. All right, so our onion should be ready. We're going to go ahead and put it in a bowl for now. Set it aside. Going to go ahead and get this uh, garlic put on here. Let that warm up for about two minutes. Ooh. So you might be asking yourself, what does any of this have to do with Dragonite? I ask myself the same question amongst many other people that are watching me do this right now. And, uh, I think it's because he looks like a butternut squash fused with a potato. So, good enough for me. I thought shiro miso was a powder. I have no idea what this is, but they want a whole teaspoon, or a tablespoon, sorry, of shiro miso and 
half of a teaspoon of dried sage. Oh my God, it's everywhere. Come on, man, please don't shame me. And these guys over here making fun of me. Just put the freaking garlic in the blender. Set this aside, turn it off for now. Get our onions in there. Our half a teaspoon of dried sage, our shiro miso, and our can of coconut milk. Nani? Coconut milk isn't milk, it's like solid. Oh my god, it's squirted everywhere! Oh my god. What the hell is going on? It's my first time, okay? I didn't know it could squirt. Let's blend this sucker up and then we set it to the side while we prepare the rest of our meal. So now that our water is to a boil, we're going to take our pre-made nochi that I pre-cut and we're going to Put it into the boiling water carefully. You don't want to burn yourself, right? Good, okay, no edits needed there. And um, you're gonna let it boil for three to four minutes, stirring occasionally, and it'll be ready when it's floating to the top. Our butternut squash is ready. We're gonna take it out, let it cool. And once it's cooled, we're gonna peel the skin off and then we're gonna blend it. All right, we're going to add two tablespoons of butter to the pan, let it melt get it ready for our nochi that we're about to drain right now. All right, here we go. Mm, smell that butter. Mm. I need it all right off the stick. All right, you never eat butter right off the stick, bro? Now the butter's pretty much ready. We're gonna take the nochi, pan fry it for two minutes on each side until golden brown. Oh my God. We definitely did not let this cool long enough, but the recipe calls for us to get this going because everything else is ready and uh, we took too long with this, so that should be good. All right, it's golden brown. Let's go ahead and set it in the bowl. Add our other half of butter. Let that melt. add the sage. We're all melted here. Let's go ahead and add our sage. How am I supposed to get the sage out of it? It's fucking swimming. I've done it. Mm -hmm. My concoction is ready. All right, our sage is swimming and it looks a little brown. All right, now it's time to cook our sauce. Think, think before you do these things. If you're a novice in the kitchen, you can get hurt. All right, we're gonna heat the sauce up now and then add it to our nochi. Garnish it with the sage and then give it a taste. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add our sauce to the nochi. Carefully. Careful, SpongeBob. Oh yeah. I hope this is thick enough. And then we're going to garnish it with some overly browned sage leaves. These are definitely not browns, borderline black. It's looking more like a nochi porridge, butter, butter, Nut squash porridge. All right, before we get into taste testing this bad boy, and now I'm gonna call in an expert 
and we're gonna try this out. Now, mmm, some freaking nice soup. Let's eat this. Just fucking put your whole mouth on it. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna try it out. Uh, he's, oh, he's gonna write down the score. He's writing down the score. Yeah, I must have done something wrong because this fucking sucks. <laughs> Failure. I'll give it one more try. One more, come on. On the scale. Alright, show on the chart. Happy and sad? And mid? Below mid. Below oh. mid. Oh. <laughs> It's it's not good. I fucked up. I had to have fucked up. There's there's no way. Like the last recipe, bomb, absolutely bomb. I don't know what happened. I must have screwed up somewhere. Like I said, not a professional. It didn't come out good at all. I'm sorry, guys. I'll try better on the next one. I think I had a catchphrase. I'm so jaded right now. I think it was uh, yeah. Limits break here, whether you're looking to cook some snacks or rip some packs, I got you. <laughs>